Cremancian Eye. It's a new product that is part of our Cremancian franchise. The eye cream, I thought, was very important to create and formulate. It made sense to utilize similar ingredients in a different texture, so it will be easier texture to apply. One second absorbency, and also incorporate a few other ingredients that specifically can address the eye areas but using sort of like the, the heritage of the Cremancienne because it works so well on the rest of the skin. I think that uh, the product is extremely effective. It's, it's natural. It brings, it's sort of, it just there's people that connect to it. This cream is the richest cream out there because of the ingredients that were incorporated into this formula. It contains very little water. The rest is oil and waxes. When you apply the cream on your face, the wax is seals your face and you have the protection coating of the wax on your skin and that's what keeps the skin so moisturized for so long. The results are very, very strong as to the extremely moisturizing cream that is has very, very strong anti-aging claims, which is amazing considering that the formula is so natural. It's an amazing feeling to know that you can go back in history, bring a certain technology to it as in being able to renew the ingredients, but you still produce it in the same way how it was made before. I was more fascinated to hear about what was the first cream that was made and really understanding where it really started. It was created by Claudius Galanus. You know, he was a doctor at the time. He was a scientist. He, he was also a spiritual man. What we're looking today and we're looking at the, that white texture cream and we're calling it a cream, he was the first one creating it. He wanted to create some remedy to heal the wounds of the gladiators. It, he almost wanted to create a band-aid which is going to be made out of the oils and the waxes. To touch the cream and to think about that you're touching the same formula, the same texture that, you know, 2,000 years ago was put on some, you know, gladiator after the fight, after he's been spliced. There's no way that this particular cream could ever be produced anywhere but by hand. You can actually talk about the processing of making the cream. And literally, truly, you can say making the cream, not manufacturing the cream or not producing the cream. I had the idea of, well, why don't we take it to monastery? There's many parallels between the cream and its formula and the monastery. They completely got into our concept. They like the fact that we're taking something from 2nd century AD and we're recreating it. The precision that was put into it was absolutely out of this world. Monks actually were the medical brothers. They would take the herbs and they'll mix it and they'll come up with those remedies that would work for people, for colds, for burns, for everything. They probably were the only ones that allowed to do it because they were doing it in the name of God. Anybody who would do it at home, they would be doing it in the name of witchcraft. That's why they were so well respected and people would go to them for that. Part of the monastic life is it's to pray and to work. And that's when we started the process of looking for the right monastery. The eye cream is for everybody. It works on all skin types. We say fresh is all about modern alchemy. And those are the words that truly describe the best by Cremancian.